around. It turned out that the traffic, Ocean Avenue traffic that I was sitting in yesterday for an hour and 10 minutes from Long Branch to Seabright um, was because there was a bit of a kerfuffle going on in Long Branch. Um, so it was uh, a good weekend to be away from the beach. Unfortunately, I had to be there. But yay, Nancy Pool, you did a great job. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for what everybody else has done. Um, and uh, Dina really helped out this week, and I'm sure that that man, Bill Spreen back there, did too, getting the AC working. Because last weekend there was no AC, and I was sitting there thinking, like, hey, it's going to get hot. We need the AC to work. So um, I'm glad that there's AC. Right now, Nativity doesn't have AC, and that fire lock was hot this morning. Ooh. So <laughs> thanks, B, for those who help and for AC, and the property guy who just walked in. Yeah, you, Roger Foss. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And well, oh, hi, visitors. I'm not trying to ignore you. Um, I'm the music guy, not the pastor. Uh, we Please do join in singing. It's out of the red book that's in the pews. The hymns are listed up there and in the bulletin. Do your best with it. Come along, whatever you feel comfortable doing. We're glad to have you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Peter. Um, well, Peter, forgot to do the... The, the PIM numbers that are up there, those are PIM numbers, not the page numbers, just so, that you, so, you, so you may know, because sometimes folks that are visiting, they open up the hymnal and they see him number uh, 550, and they go to page 550, and they start singing, and like, what is, when in the world is everybody else singing? So uh, it, it, instead of looking up for the, the, the page, just look for the hymn number, and it's usually listed like right at the top of the page. Uh, friends in Christ, good morning. It's a blessing to have everyone gathered here. Uh, this morning we have a, 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 a full uh, a slate of things happening uh, today. Uh, of course, we uh, are, are uh, come here for uh, for worship this morning, and uh, in our service this morning, uh, Dustin and Nicole brought their daughter Paige in to receive the sacrament of holy baptism. So, um, well, welcome to you, and we uh, celebrate with you and your families uh, being uh, is baptized this morning. Uh, immediately following the worship service, we're going to have the blessing of the book nook outside, uh, followed by hot dogs and hamburgers and fellowship and what have you. So immediately after the uh, benediction, the blessing, uh, we will recess outside to the area in uh, near the book nook. And once we get out there, uh, Naomi McKenna is going to have a few words to say, and then we'll have the blessing of the, uh, of the book nook. And, and also, uh, for our young people that are here this morning, uh, there is Sunday school, so immediately after the baptism, you can uh, head on out over to the parish house to, uh, to Sunday school this morning. So, friends in Christ, uh, welcome, and uh, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship as we are blessed with the uh, prelude from Peter.
Congregation may be seated as I invite Nicole and Dustin to bring Peyton forward along with Peyton's godparents and gather around the baptismal bond. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of holy baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus the Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Nicole and Dustin, called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child Peyton baptized in Christ? If so, say we do. As you bring Peyton to receive the gift of holy baptism, you are entrusted with the responsibilities to live with her among God's faithful people, to bring her to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach her the Lord's Prayer the creed and the Ten Commandments, place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, and nurture her in faith and prayer, so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world that God has made, and to work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help your child grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, say we did. We did. And to the godparents, sponsors, do you promise to nurture Peyton in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's spirit and to help her live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church if so, say we do. And assembly, people of God, do you promise to support Peyton and pray for her and her life in Christ if so, say we do. I invite you to please stand as you are able. And the response is made by the entire congregation. I ask you in this assembly to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce the devil, all the forces that defy God? the powers of this world that rebel against God, and the ways of sin that draw you from God? Yes. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters. And by your word, you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. And through the sea, you led your people, Israel, from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus, his death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. In the congregation, you may be seated. In the name of the Father, Son, she was quiet. <laughs> Friends in Christ, let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through the water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain painted with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Hey, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the Christ or a cross of Christ forever. Shine before others so that they may see your good works and glorify Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon Dustin and Nicole and help them to raise this child in faith. Let them ever rejoice in the gift that you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness. Strengthen them in their own baptism so that they may share eternally the salvation that you have given them through Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 And I invite the congregation to please uh, stand as you are able. And now, uh, may, as a community of Christ, let us say, we welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in the advance of the grace of God. We learn God's faith and the to all the world. Our baptismal hymn is number 453. It's in the bullet on page 5 and in the hymnal. Baptized and set free.
Friends in Christ, the grace of our Lord Jesus, the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Nations. 
but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river, the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends of Christ, I invite you to please stand as you're able. Or the composer, 
I think I may have answered two or one or two of those questions uh, right. But it, it, it all in all, it, it was a wonderful, it was a wonderful evening. How many of you like Broadway shows or or or, or, or attend Broadway shows on a on a on a, on a frequent basis? If I, I I was watching one of the entertainment shows uh, sometime last week. And, and I heard that uh, there is a, a new Broadway musical entitled NJ, NJ, which just stand, it stands for, for Michael Jackson. And in, in, in this Broadway musical, it sort of focuses or centers on a time in his life around 1992 uh, during his, uh, his worldwide tour entitled Dangerous. And if, if, if I can recall, I think I think that uh, that worldwide tour may have been the, the, the last tour that Michael Jackson uh, participated in before his death. When I first heard Michael Jackson sing, it was with his uh, with his with his other brothers, his other four brothers. Uh, in, in, in a group called the Jackson Five. You remember the, the Jackson Five? I think they came out back in, 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 in the 60s or, or, or the, the, the 70s. And it's amazing how time, time flies. I think it was maybe a little bit more than 50 years ago, Michael Jackson came out with his brothers uh, singing uh, tunes like ABC and I Watch It Back. But there was a one song in particular that a, 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 a young 12 year old of Michael Jackson sang entitled Never Can Say Goodbye. Never Can Say Goodbye. And, 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 and for those of you who may not recall that, that, that song, it's a, it, was a, it was a song about saying goodbye to a, a, a loved one. And it was interesting that this 12, little 12 year old boy could just sing this, he could just Sing in this, in this wonderful, perfect falsetto, uh, uh, and talk about the the, the, the hardships and, and 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 the griefs and the pain that uh, that one goes through in saying goodbye to those that they love. This morning, our gospel text is comes from the fourteenth chapter of the Gospel of Saint John. And around the 14th, 15th, and some parts of the 16th chapter of John's Gospel, it's called the Jesus's farewell discourse. Jesus is, I guess you could say, Jesus is, is he's saying goodbye to his friends. He's saying goodbye to his disciples be, before he's uh, crucified and, and, and put to death. And in this 14th chapter of John's Gospel, is, uh, we've sort of been in this Gospel, this part of this farewell discourse Gospel for maybe about two or three Sundays now. Jesus has just, he's just had a, 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 a conversation with his disciples. He's, he's washed his disciples' feet. He's shared a final meal with his disciples. And then at this point, the one who betrays Jesus, uh, Judas, he gets up from the table and he exits. Because if you know the story, she, that Judas goes out because he's going to tell Jesus and betrayers where they can find Jesus. And once Judas leaves, Jesus turns to his remaining disciples and he says to them, I give you a new command. That you love one another just as I have loved you. And then Jesus goes on to describe what this type of love and what this kind of love looks like. And then another disciple named Judas, Judas, not Iscariot, but Judas, he says to Jesus, Jesus, how is it that you are going to reveal yourself to us and not the world? And that's where our gospel text this morning picks up. 
Jesus turns to his other disciples along with Judas and he says to them, those who love me will keep my word. He says, little children, I'm only going to be with you a little bit longer. But the Father is going to send someone to you. He's going to send an advocate, a helper. He's going to send the Holy Spirit to you. And his Holy Spirit is going to teach you and remind you of everything that I have taught you. So my friends, Peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you, Jesus. Peace I leave with you, and peace I give to you. I don't give you the, the type of peace that the world gives. Instead, I give you my peace. So don't let your hearts be troubled. And do not, do not be. These words of Jesus were comforting to his disciples. Because in, 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 in a little while, Jesus would, would go on to be a, a, arrested and, and go on to be killed and crucified. So maybe Jesus knew that he needed to leave his disciples with a word of, 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 of comfort and reassurance. Because after Jesus was crucified, I'm sure they probably may have said, well, if, if they killed Jesus, maybe they're going to come for us too and kill us. The same way they killed Christ. So Jesus leaves his disciples. He leaves his friends. He says goodbye to them, saying to them, a peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them Friends, as we look around our country and we look around our world today, many of us are troubled. Many of us are afraid. Food and gas prices are skyrocketing. Mothers are finding it difficult to find baby formula for their children. It seems like in some areas of the country, the COVID-19 pandemic is again rearing its ugly head. Why people of people of color, African Americans and Asians can't even seem to walk the street without being uh, beat up, accosted, or even shot in a grocery store just for simply buying some groceries. Yes, we are living in troubling times, but notice, friends. Even in the midst of the troubling times that we are living in, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He gives us peace. He gives us peace, not like the world can give. Because you know that there, there, sometimes the peace that the world can give is a, a, is a type of peace that teaches payback or revenge, or let's do it, let's do it to, the, to, to, to this person before it's done on to us. No, instead, friends in Christ Jesus, he gives us a type of peace, a type of peace that the world cannot give. A type of peace Jesus gives to us is a type of peace that says when we are anxious, Jesus gives us calm. The type of peace that Jesus gives us is the type of peace that says when we are afraid, Jesus comforts us. The type of peace that Jesus gives to us is the type of peace that says when we are grieving, when we are grieving, Jesus will comfort and protect us. The type of peace that Jesus gives to us is the type of peace that says to us whatever is going on in our lives, Jesus is with us. For those of you who may know, this coming Thursday, this coming Thursday is Ascension Day. It's that day in, 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 in the church that we recall what's, what was written in, 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 
that in the Gospel of, of Luke and Acts, uh, where Jesus ascends back to heaven to be with his Father. But yet, even though Jesus ascends back to the Father, even though Jesus is not here with us physically, Jesus has left us with his spirit. His spirit of comfort, his spirit of protection, his, his, his spirit of calmness, his spirit of peace. Friends in Christ, what things might you be going through in your life today? What things that, that, that you feel are, are overwhelming? If you feel like you're in this situation, know this, that you are not alone, that the risen Christ is with you, with you to calm you, with you to reassure you, with you to love you, and with you to give you his peace. Thanks be to God. Amen. Him is number 631, verses 1 and 4. <laughs>
in Christ, let us pray for the communion of all present here, those who are viewing us online, those who are in our hearts and in our world. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and dwell in my heart in the fullness of your spirit. Be my wisdom and guide me in my right path of grace. Conform my life and actions to the image of your holiness and in the power of your grace. I believe that you are truly present. And when I cannot receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life and to provide your grace. I come to your glorious and I am in The risen Christ dwells with us here, all who are hungry, all who are thirsty, and love. Thanks be to God. Our communion hymns are number 403, like the murmur of the dove song. song. And number 785, when peace like a river. Um, St. Augustine says, those who sing pray twice. And I don't like to give concerts. So please do join in. <laughs>
now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, may it strengthen you and keep you in his grace. We give you thanks, generous God, for this bread and cup. We have tasted the new heaven and earth for hunger and thirst for our lives. Set us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection, that through our lives all may know life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And friends, I invite you to please remain standing for the blessing. Just a reminder that after our uh, rec our, our recessional hymn, we are going to process outdoors to the book nook, where we are going to gather around the book nook uh, for the, the blessing of that. And then afterwards, uh, have some uh, share, share a meal together with some hamburgers and hot dogs. And so, uh, friends in Christ, again, blessings to you, blessings to the Peyton who received uh, the sacrament of holy baptism, and to uh, both uh, uh, Dustin and Nicole for bringing Peyton to receive uh, the sacrament. God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life giving spirit of adoption, bless you now and forever. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 